I am Anil Kumar sharing with you three application questions on logarithmic and exponential functions. These questions have been repeated in previous test papers many times. I like you to go through this video carefully, understand the concepts, and then I hope it helps you for your own test also. Question number one. Find the maximum and minimum value of the function y equals to 2x cubed minus ln x square over the closed interval 0 0.1 to 2. So that is an extreme value uh, application. Question number 2. The concentration of a certain prescription drug in bloodstream after a single dose can be modeled by the equation c equals to 100 t e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t where C represents the concentration of the drug and T represents the time in hours since the drug is taken. Determine the maximum concentration of blood in the bloodstream and when it occurred. So here maximum minimum question and question number three is in a telegraph cable the speed of a signal is Vx equals to x square ln 1 over x where x is the ratio of radius r of the cable core to the overall radius capital R. Find the value of x that maximizes the speed of the signal if r is between 1 tenth and 9 tenth value of capital R. So I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, answer them one by one, and then look into my solutions. Here is question number one. Find the maximum and minimum value of the function y equals to 2x cubed minus ln x square over the interval 0 0.1 to 2. So this is a closed interval. So we'll have absolute maximum and absolute minimum. To find that, let's find the critical number first. So we'll begin by finding the first derivative. First derivative should be equal to 0 or maybe undefined for the critical number. We have the function y equals to 2x cubed minus ln x square. Now if you look into this, the domain is all real values except x equals to 0. Correct? Derivative of this function is 6x square minus ln x square is 1 over x square times the derivative of x square which is 2x. So we could write this as 6x square minus 2 over x. So I could take 2 over x as common. So if I take 2 over x as common, I get 3x square minus, minus 1, right? So that becomes the derivative of the given function. Now it should be cube here. When I take x common here, it becomes cube, right? Okay, so it becomes 3x cubed minus 1. Now for critical number, when is this equal to 0? It is equal to 0 for x equals to 1 over 3 cube root. Right? 1 over 3. You can note that x equals to 0 does give you a critical number, but that is out of our domain, right? So it is not in the domain. So we'll ignore x equals to 0 since it is not in domain. Correct? So we have only one critical number, which is cube root of 1 over 3. So let's find approximate value of cube root of 1 over 3. We'll use that decimal number in our calculations. This cube root is 0 0.6933. So let me write this as equals to 0 0.693 for our calculations. Okay. So now to find the extrema, what we should do? We should evaluate this particular expression for the three values. One is at x equals to 0 0.1. The second one is at x equals to 2. 
and at our critical number x equals to 0 0.693 correct so let's substitute these values in the function and find its value so we have y equals to 2 times 0 0.1 whole q minus ln 0 0.1 square and here we have y equals to 2 times 2 cube minus ln 2 square and then we'll calculate y equals to 2 times 0 0.693 cube minus ln 0 0.693 square correct calculate these values the first one is 2 times within bracket 0 0.1 whole cube minus ln 0.1 cube is equal to 6.0 so now let's calculate these values we have y equals to 2 times 0 0.1 uh, 0.1 whole cube minus ln 0.1 square is equal to so this value is 4.6 for us the next value will just change uh, 0 0.1 to 2 0 0.1 and that is equal to 14.6 and the last value will change it to 0 0.693 0 0.693 0 0.693 equals to 1.39 correct now you need to compare these values so the maximum here is 14.6 which occurs at 2 and minimum occurs at a critical number 1.39 correct so we have our answer that is absolute maximum is 14.6 and absolute minimum is 1.39 right? they occur respectively at 2 and cube root of 1 over 3 right so let's move on to the next question now question number two the concentration of certain prescription drug in bloodstream after a single dose can be modeled by the equation c equals to 100 t e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t where c represents the concentration of the drug and t represents the time in hours since the drug is taken determine the maximum concentration of blood in the bloodstream and when it occurs so we are given the equation c equals to 100 t e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t right so let's find the derivative of this function which is 100 we'll apply the product rule here so um, derivative of t is 1 so we get e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t plus we'll write t and the derivative of this function which is e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t times minus 0 0.5 correct so that becomes the derivative we can take uh, e to the power of minus 0 0.5 t common so we get 1 here and here we get minus 0 0.5 which is half right let me write half half t so that's what we get now to find the critical number we know this part is never 0 however t equals to 2 will make c dash as 0 so that becomes our critical number we can test for maximum or minimum at this critical number so let us uh, analyze this number so at at, at t equals to 2 let's say this is t equals to 2 we can take a test point on left and right let's say 1 and 3 
Now, in this expression for the derivative of concentration with respect to time, you know that the first part will always be positive. And here, if I take a value of t less than 2, that is 1, then I get here 1 minus 1 is half, which is positive. So the slope will be positive. But if the value of t is more than 2, let us say 3, so it is 1.5, gives you minus half. So it is a negative slope. So that means we have maximum at our critical number, right? So the question is, determine the maximum concentration of the drug in the bloodstream and when it occurs. So the answer is, it occurs occurred at t equals to 2. The units are in hours, I think, where t represents time in hours. Okay, so 2 hours and the maximum concentration C is going to be, we have to plug in 2 here, right? So let's find the value of the function at t equals to 2. So which is 100 t e to the power of minus 1, right? So 1 over t because 2 and half cancels. So let's figure this out. So it is, uh, I should write 200, right? So 200 over e is what we are looking for. So we get 200 divided by e, which is here is 73.575 which could be rounded to we can round this to 73 point let's say 6 right so that is the maximum concentration at times the units are given include those units in such questions question number three in a telegraph cable the speed of signal is v of x equals to x square. So let me write down the equation first. v of x is x square ln 1 over x, right? Where x is the ratio of radius r of a cable core to the overall radius r. Find the value of x that maximizes the speed signal if r is between r over 10 and 9r over 10. So the cable core, let me sketch this a bit. We'll, let's try to understand. Let's say this is the outside of the cable core and the inside is, is kind of like this. What we're talking about is that the inside radius is R and the outside radius is capital R. Perfect. Now, X is ratio of R over R. X is equals to R over capital R. In this case, we are given r in between capital R over 10 and 9R uh, over 10, right? We should find what x is. Since x is ratio of these two radii, we could write this as R over capital R should be dividing by R, we get 1 over 10 and here we get 9 over 10. Is it okay? So those are the extreme values for which we have to perform. So basically that means that for x is between, I can say 0.1 to 0.9. Doesn't make sense to you, right? So, so that is the limit for x. Okay, so we need to find the value of x that maximizes the speed of the signal. So we find the first derivative. So first derivative, in this case, applying the product rule will be 2x times ln 1 over x plus x squared times derivative of this, which is uh, reciprocal of 1 over x will be x times derivative of 1 over x will be minus 1 over x squared, correct? So that gives you 2x ln 1 over x and uh, here x squared x squared cancels to so get minus x. We could take x as common. So if you take x common, you get 2 ln 1 over x minus 1 as the derivative. Now for a critical number, x, x could be 0, right? So x could be 0, but x is not 0. x is between these two limits. So we we'll ignore that part. And in this case, we want 2 ln 1 over x equals to 1. So let's solve for this. 
So let us solve for, let me do it here, uh, 2 ln 1 over x equals to 1 or ln 1 over x equals to half, correct? So that means 1 over x is e to the power of half and that means x is equals to e to the power of minus half. You get an idea, right? So the critical number here is e to the power of minus half, right? So here we, we just saw that the value is 0. So v dash x equals to 0 for x equals to 1 over square root of e, right? So that is what we get. Now the question is, when will it maximize? So to maximize, let's calculate the value of the function at all these three points. So we'll calculate the value at 0 0.1, right? So which is 0 0.1 square ln 1 divided by 0 0.1. And we'll calculate the value at uh, 0 0.9. 0 0.9 square ln 1 over 0 0.9. And also the value at uh, e to the power of minus half, which is e to the power of minus half square, right? So that becomes minus and ln. Uh, so e to the power of half. Is it okay? So that is what we'll calculate. Because minus makes it plus and uh, basically this is uh, e to the power of minus 1 square will give you 1 over e and this value is ln e to the power of half ln and e is 1 that means type 2 right so basically you get a value which is uh, uh, 1 over 2 e right but let's calculate all these values the decimal equivalent and see which one gives you the maximum result is it okay so the first one here is 0 0.1 square times ln ln 1 divided by 0 0.1 equals to this value is 0 0.023 now let's change this to 0 0.9 okay this is simpler and faster 0.9 and that is equal to the second one here is equals to 0 0.08 and the last one will change it to uh, 1 over square root e right so we'll change this to in fact I'll have to retype I just improved that okay so we'll write here 1 divided by square root e. One divided by square root e and we'll square this. And we'll also change this value to uh, okay. So we'll do uh, square root e. It is square root e is this one, square root e. Okay. And that gives you a value of 0 0.183. 0 0.183. So if you compare, you get maximum value as 0 0.183. Correct? So it says find the value of x that maximizes the speed. So the value of x which maximizes the speed is at x equals to 1 over square root e. E, right so that maximizes speed so that is how you're going to solve this question so I hope it helps you to understand how to solve questions related to the applications of exponential functions we had good variety of questions here that should help you to prepare for your own test Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you, and all the best.